Today is a good day to be an SNK fan. Released in 2022, this 1-6 scale Blue Mary from King of Fighters 97 is the follow-up to Tunshi Studios' phenomenal Haomaru figure. With her debut in Fatal Fury 3 as a private detective and Terry Bogart's confidant, Blue Mary's immense popularity eventually cemented her place as a series regular in King of Fighters since 1997. She's still going strong today, returning for almost every entry of the series, including KOF 15 just this year. But let's see how this relic of the 90s holds up today. The likeness on both portraits are exceptional. But if you think the hair sculpt on the left looks like a helmet, you'd be absolutely correct. Though this was intentional, as Blue Mary's design was heavily inspired by Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. So to that end, I'd argue this hair sculpt is actually pretty spot on. And if that's not your jam, there's also a more fluid version on the right. Even though I'm usually not a fan of non-movable eyes with a side glance, this determined expression is very fitting for the character. Combined with the flowing hair clipped behind the ear on one side, it makes for a very lifelike portrait. And with how easy it is to pull off great dynamic poses, you really do get a lot of mileage out of this head sculpt. Blue Mary's costume design was thought to be timeless, as evident from the fact that she still looks quite good in KOF 15. The red sports bra is smooth and shimmery, Tunshi Studio went for a very tasteful design, as her boobs aren't unnecessarily exaggerated, and there are no pokies like with a certain war story Tifa. The gloves are actually split at the wrists, so the cuff portion is essentially a bracelet, which makes swapping out the hand parts less of a hassle. The pants are skillfully tailored. They are baggy on the top, but tapered on the bottom. The gold star logos are printed on. The shiny finish is about the only thing I find to be a bit toyish. The underside of the leather belt is rather rugged, so watch out for bits that might come off and cling onto the rubber body. And I do like that it's just big enough to replicate how it loosely hangs on her hips. The boots are brown, just like they were in KOF 97. And like the gloves, they are split at the ankles, and are otherwise simple, unassuming, and effective at getting the point across. Lastly, we have this shimmery green jacket that once belonged to Blue Mary's deceased lover named Butch. It's complete with a fluffy collar, elastic bands on the cuffs and coattail, plus working zippers and pockets. I did find it odd that Tunshi Studio had chosen a synthetic fabric instead of leather for this jacket, so it doesn't have that smooth surface and big wrinkles like in the game. It still looks really good, and honestly, I'd take this over the possibility that the leather might break down one day. This figure was built using a TB League body, with a somewhat toned muscle definition, the articulations of which I won't go into details, but it's worth noting that the wrists can be exposed, depending on the posing angle and the hand part, which is a trade-off for the split-cut glove design. Aside from using some tricks to balance the figure, this type of seamless bodies are perfect for fighting game characters, and thanks to the flexible costume, you can pull off an amazing back kick, as if there's some real power behind it. Besides the additional head sculpt and jacket, which we've already covered, the only things left in the accessories department are the hand parts and display stand. The hand gestures are what you would expect of typical fighting poses, and I do like the options specific to Blue Mary's sassy in-game taunt. The base has a flexible stem for dynamic display options. The logo on this brick-like surface is very detailed, with a rugged texture to match. The maker's marks are once again printed on the bottom. The grabber is fixed on the top of the support stem, which is great for aerial poses, though I still find a traditional stand to be very useful for more grounded poses. And finally, let's kick off the size comparison with Tunshi Studio's own Haomaru, whom we have determined last time to be proper 6 scale. Still, his hulking size makes Blue Mary look petite, but she really isn't that small next to her fellow fighters from Fatal Fury, Mai Shiranui by Genesis Eamon, and of course Terry Bogard by World Box. This Mai was also built with a TB League body, so their heights are about the same. And here she is with Terry. Sadly, I'd say his charisma is no match for Tunshi's Blue Mary, because World Box didn't capture the spirit of Terry's character at all. So there you have it, the 1-6 scale Blue Mary by Tunshi Studio, who, by the way, is 2 for 2 in terms of releases that are absolute home runs. The double head sculpts are fantastic, with an equally brilliant costume and figure body to match. Given the sheer roster of KOF characters who have enormous marquee value, Blue Mary is definitely an obscure pick, but I'm so glad they went through with it. And on the topic of popular characters, I cannot wait for Tunchi's next release, which is gonna be the drop-dead gorgeous Mai Shiranui, once again from KOF 97.